What's happening, everybody? Greg Ehrenberg here from Odd Shopper, and it's time to break down Tuesday's slate of sports, and we're going to be walking through some of the top projected bets in the morning over at Odd Shopper. So as you guys come in, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and don't forget, a lot of these projections, odds, things could change over the course of the day. So if you want access to even more plus EV bets, sign up at Odd Shopper and take advantage of our free trial, which we currently have available, although it is going to be going away soon. So if you've been uh, thinking about trying a free trial for Odd Chopper, now is the time to take advantage of it. It is not going to be around for all that much longer. And if you want access to that free trial, it is seven days totally for free. You get access to that by clicking on the link below in the description box. And just an example of how things could change over the course of the day. Yesterday, one of the most popular bets that everybody on social media seemed to be on was over rebounds for Julius Randle. That ended up moving the line quite a bit. And that's why as we got closer to lock, the number one projected bet that we had in Odd Chopper last night heading into the NBA games ended up being under nine and a half rebounds for Julius Randle. It ended up cashing. So if you were one of the people that ended up betting the over on Julius Randle rebounds, you would have been on the other side if you were signed up at Odd Chopper yesterday. So that was a nice betting win that I had via the tools yesterday. So uh, shout out to Odd Chopper for that. And if you guys have any more questions for myself or you just want to tail some more bets, hang out, sweat some bets, we do have a free channel available over at Chalkboard. There's a link below to sign up for that, and that is also totally free. So let's look at today's NBA slate and uh, two games, and then we'll walk through some of the baseball, and I'll check to see if there's any hockey value as well. But starting with tonight's basketball games, one thing that really stands out to me in our projections, Michael Porter Jr. over 14 and a half points. This is a pretty low number for MPJ, and yeah, he hasn't had the best series in the world against the Phoenix Suns, but I like to look at some of the bigger sample sizes and just see what Michael Porter Jr. has done for the year where he's averaging 17 points per game. So his over-under is 14 and a half to open up the day, and a lot of this to do with him having some subpar performances against the Suns his last few games, 11 points, 21 points, 5 points. But I like looking at the bigger sample size. I do like over 14 and a half for Michael Porter Jr., Good amount of upside in that number. Now, here's an under that I think most people are going to hate. I don't think people are going to want to get on board with this, but Devin Booker under 45 and a half PRA and 45 and a half it is the best numbers available at DraftKings. It's a little more juiced heavily elsewhere. Minus 120 at Caesars, minus 113 at FanDuel. So minus 105 at TK is the best available line. And yeah, Devin Booker has been unbelievable over the course of these playoffs. In fact, I think there's an argument to be made that he's the best player on the Suns right now. He might even be better than Kevin Durant right now. But Devin Booker averaged less than 40 PRA for the entire season. And 45 and a half, that's just a really steep number. This is a road game for the Suns. Denver is the most difficult place to play in in the NBA. The Denver Nuggets have the number one home court advantage, at least in terms of a place that is worth the most points relative to the spread. A lot of that's to do with playing at altitude as well. So I do like the under 45 and a half PRA for Devin Booker. It does look a little bit too high. And then uh, one other one here that I want to uh, highlight that projects well for us is Marcus Smart for under 13 and a half points. And, you know, in the playoffs, we've pretty regularly seen teams give their core players really big minutes. But... Marcus Smart hasn't regularly played massive minutes. He got 42 minutes last game, but that's actually the first time in the entire playoffs that he played over 35 minutes. And also, don't forget, last game went to overtime, so that influenced minutes as well. Marcus Smart's not getting the same boost in playing time that other guys are getting in the series. Like, he's not playing as much as, you know, Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum. And a lot of this is because of how much depth the Celtics have in the backcourt. They have Derek White to give minutes to. They have Malcolm Brogdon to give minutes to this year. So if Marcus Smart is going to keep playing like 32, 33, 34 minutes, it's hard to expect him to regularly score 14 or more points because he only averaged 12 points per game in the regular season, and this is a fairly tough matchup against the 76ers. So uh, that is another bet that I like for today. Let's see what's looking good in baseball to open up the day. Looks like a lot of total base props here. So Rowdy Telez just need him to uh, get on base once via hit, and he would hit the over on this. Here's a super low number. Drew Raczynski has an over-under of two and a half strikeouts. Some books have it at three and a half right now. If you get the two and a half, we have this projected win 66% of the time. So even if it's juiced, I mean, 66%, there's a lot of leeway there in terms of what is the fair line. So let's see, 60 
I'm so 66%, anything minus 194 or better is is above the break even point at 66%. So I think this is worth looking at. The Yankees offense kind of sucks right now. I know they had a big game yesterday, but no Giancarlo Stanton, no Aaron Judge for them right now. And this is a team, it's just a pretty thin offense. There are strikeouts to be had. So Rachinsky over two and a half strikeouts. I think that makes sense. Dan Vogelbach for the Mets. Only need him to get one hit today against the Reds, and he would cash the over on his bases. Let's see. A lot of total base props in here. Any strikeout or home run props? Louis Varland. I think this is a pretty decent look. Really tough matchup for him against the Padres. This Padres offense is going to be a nightmare for opposing pitchers going forward. Now that Tatis is healthy, Soto's starting to swing a better bat. So top of that order, when you got guys like Soto, Machado, Tatis, Xander Bogarts to go through. It's going to be tough to generate strikeouts. Louis Varland isn't the best pitcher in the world. Tough match for him against the Padres. His over-under is four and a half strikeouts, and it's actually plus money on the under. So I think that one makes sense there. Let's check out NHL if anything is standing out for the NHL lines. And yeah, some goal-scoring props here. Um, Dadanov plus five hundred. We always see these on FanDuel. If you guys have watched these videos where I've highlighted some of the goal scoring props, you got Dadnov as plus 500 to score a goal of FanDuel, and most other books have them short of plus 300, plus 290, plus 280. Caesars has it at plus 390. Seth Jarvis plus 340 to score a goal at FanDuel. Compare that to plus 250 ish around there at most other books. So some definite value on some goal scoring lines there. Let's build out a prize picks parlay. One of the other perks of Odd Shopper here is that we do have a parlay build, a parlay builder you could use for DraftKings, FanDuel, pretty much any sports book, then also for the pick'em sites. Let's make sure there's no lines in here for tomorrow's basketball games, which there aren't. So this is a six-leg flex parlay over at Prize Picks. They 22% expected ROI. Jalen Brown over 33.5 PRA. Derek White under 18.5 PRA. Jeremy Pena for one hit here. Brent Burns for under 3.5 shots on goal. Don't ask me how to pronounce this guy's name, but under 4.5 strikeouts for Fat. I haven't watched him pitch yet. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name. I think that's correct, though. Fat. Under 4.5 strikeouts for him. And then talk about MPJ, Michael Porter Jr., under 14.5 points. Do one... Parlay, we should do it for, I usually do it for, I'll do it for DraftKings today. So let's see what's standing out for DraftKings purposes. And yeah, here is a one, two, three, four, five leg parlay at DraftKings, 27 to one odds and a 26% expected ROI on this. We have Chaz McCormick for one total base, just need him to get one hit. Same with Blade, one hit. We talked about Devin Booker before, him for under 45 and a half PRA, and then a couple other total base props, Daniel Vogelbach and Chris Taylor. All together, 27 to 1 odds here. We have it winning 4% of the time, which is good for a 26 expected ROI. So that is going to do it for me. Once again, if you guys want to take advantage of a free trial period, just sign up by clicking on the link below. Seven days totally for free. If you guys aren't satisfied with Odd Chopper, no risk to you. You just leave and you don't pay for anything. No big deal, but I do recommend you try it out because there's no risk to you at all. Other than that, if you guys haven't done yet, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day and good luck with all your bets. See you guys back here tomorrow.